Welcome guys and we're going to be doing another quick tutorial here on Seekerhost today um, just to show you how you're going to be able to change your world name to possibly change it to a different one, how to come back to uh, your old world and stuff. So if we open up our internet browsing page here and search uh, for Seekerhost, come onto your multi-craft page of course on your server and you're going to notice in this tab here it says world. Now world is the name of your currently started one, it is called world if you want to find it again, it, that's the name in the file there. Um, you will be able to access that through your FTP files but we'll go through that in another video. So for the moment we got our world um, and we want to make a secondary world, perhaps we, we just want to make a complete change um, or if you're on Java you might be running multi-world plugins. So anyway, uh, world and we're going to do a world 1, so we've now got a second world called world 1. Um, if we just stop the server there and we're going to hit save and that's going to save our file there for world 1 so now when we start our server again it's going to be starting it however this time it's going to be starting it with a world called world 1 which is going to be brand new um, you can check this by coming onto your console and you can see their info opening worlds and the file is world 1 because we've made a second file so we've changed our world to world 1 and it's going to have generated a whole new world if we head over to our bedrock minecraft because this one's on the bedrock of course it works the same in java um, hit servers there hit world 1 join server and it is going to be a completely different one or you're going to be generated in a different new world on here um, so there we go we're loaded in um, and i can confirm that this is a totally different seed and i've spawned somewhere else now if you actually want to return back to your old world it's pretty simple you're just going to stop your server one more time um, you're going to take out the one there and you're going to spell it exactly how the first world was spelt or the one that you want to bring back so it was spelt back world like this and you're going to hit save now what this is going to do is it's going to um, so I just have to log back in again there um, it's going to save and it's going to open up that particular file called world um, rather than world one so we'll be able to swap back there we go, server settings saved, and we'll hit a start. Now, as you can see on our control panel here, um, we've got info, opening worlds, and we've got world DB. So now we've opened up our last world, um, which we have saved. So it doesn't get deleted, don't worry about that. It does get saved in the folds, and we were able to open it up. Pretty quickly started up, and we've got uh, server started right there. So now if we load up our Minecraft one more time, I'm going to hit play. Head over to servers and we're going to be using the same world. Um, obviously, probably would be helpful to change this name if you are changing the worlds, but that's completely up to you. I'm going to hit join server and we're going to load in and we should now load in into the original world that we had saved. There we go. Um, we weren't on top of a tree before and as you can see it's totally different seed. It's nighttime, not daytime um, and it's all changed around. And one more thing to add just before I end this is that if you do want to delete worlds, um, all you've got to do is go through your FTP file access. Um, we're going to have another video on that if you actually want to search more in depth how to use that.